Nearly 10 million Americans were victims last year. Names stolen, bank accounts, credit cards, and other personal information. And while you may feel safe from identity theft, there are a few things that you need to know. Action 12's Gretchen Bolander tells us what to do in part one of her special report, Safe and Sound. By now, we're used to hearing about identity theft. Often millions of records are at risk when hackers crack a company's network. But the danger comes in many different forms, and you can make yourself safer. I want to make sure that I don't have those kind of problems come up. You know, that would be scary to know that somebody else is out there using your information. Lilani Runabom takes the normal precautions, safeguarding credit card numbers and keeping an eye on account activity. But that's not always enough. There always has been. There is, and there always will be a predatory criminal element out there stalking their prey. There will always, always be predators stalking their prey. Nationally known author and speaker Robert Siciliano warns of the dangers of identity theft. And he's not alone. Corporal Ryan West with the Joplin Police Department says a quick response is crucial. But it's important not to wait until you think you have everything that you need. Give us, give us a call right away so we can get the investigation started. Use good sense. Don't share personal information on first contact, whether online, by mail, or on the phone. Always shred documents before tossing them. But your information isn't the only part of your life at risk. Personal safety often depends on just a few factors. Keep your doors locked all the time, even in the daytime, even if you're home. That can mean more than just turning a key. A lot of people will spend a lot of money on a door lock, but neglect the fact that their door is substandard or that the door frame itself is dry rotted, which makes it easy to kick in. West says deadbolts are a good choice, as long as everything else is in good shape. What we see a lot of times, especially in older homes, is the, uh, the, the frame and the door itself just won't support any kind of, of uh, good security measures. Locking doors is a priority for Runabom. Caution, that's a product of real life experience. I have had my car stolen one time. It, it, it was hot wired and stolen. We recovered it in Florida, but I had to drive to Florida to get it. An experience she doesn't want to repeat. In fact, a national survey said the average cost to deal with identity theft is almost $500. A part of the risk comes from using plastic. I'll tell you about the risks you run with credit cards in the second part of my special report, Safe and Sound. 